Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some really exciting news to share with you all. It is my birthday. <laughs> it is actually my birthday. I am officially 34, though I feel like I've been saying that I'm 34 for the last like six months or so. You know, you just kind of round up. So today I am playing in the, a little something something I'm about to show you and I'm eating my favorite icing rainbow chip. What I'm actually here to tell you guys about and share with you <laughs> it is something that is making me so nervous. I don't know why, but I'm shaking. My feet are sweating, and I am just like, <sighs> but I have created a palette with Sydney Grace. <laughs> I can't even believe that this day is finally here. I finally get to show this to you guys, and again, I'm, like, I'm shaking. I am shaking. This is the Tiny Marvels palette. And uh, I'm gonna give you guys all the information. I'm gonna tell you guys everything that inspired me, go over the shades, show you guys some swatches, and I'm gonna show you guys <laughs> this eye look. This is something that I did while I was just playing with my palette. <laughs> and I wore it in a video. I've worn several looks with this palette in videos. But this particular look got a lot, a lot of requests. I got more requests for this eye look than I have for any other eye look in my entire YouTube career. Not even kidding. Didn't expect it. I'm pretty sure it's because of this matte green shade, which I gotta say, it's one of my favorite shades in the palette. Anywho, the Tiny Marvels palette with Sydney Grace and myself will be available August 7th, so two more days. It's gonna retail for $52, and my code PUFFINSY15 will work on the palette. And this is not like a double dipping situation. I've never earned any money from Sydney Grace or like the code or whatever like that. It's not an affiliate. It's just a discount code for you guys. So it makes it just a little bit cheaper. Before I open up the palette and show you guys all of the beautiful shades inside, I have to talk about the artwork on the outside. This palette is inspired by the tiny little marvels, all the little critters that I love. I've talked about it so many times. You know, I have a praying mantis on this side of my neck. I have a centipede over here. I have a black widow on my hand. I have a cicada over here. I have a jewel bee on my foot. I have a beetle on my other foot. I have a lot of insects, bugs, whatever, all over me. And I really wanted to take that use the colors specifically from this tattoo right here and create the colors in here and have the artwork inspired by all the things that I love. So you'll see this beautiful hand, a butterfly, the little ladybugs, just everything, even down to the little ants all at the bottom. My tattoo artist, Pat Bennett, in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, if you are there, Red Nimbus Tattoo, the best shop ever. He's also the artist behind the red panda, the one that I have tattooed on my arm and that was on my candle. But this, he did, I mean, I could not have asked for anything better. He used the shades that are in the palette and created this custom artwork and I just, I couldn't be happier. I trust him so implicitly. I remember talking to him about the design and you know what I wanted and then his ideas. I was like, you know me, you know me. And this is him, this is him. He's just so amazing. So Pat, a huge thank you for doing this. I love it. Now, let me open it up. Are you ready? Are you ready? I feel like I'm not even ready. Okay, so it's magnetic. It is cardboard. It's white on the back with the ingredients and it's Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace. Oh, okay, I'm opening it up. I'm opening it up. Ready? All right, here we have it. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe I'm doing this right now. Okay, <sighs> breathe. <laughs> so you have the mirror on the inside and then these beautiful metallic mattes, just all these gorgeous shades that are inspired by, again, my tattoos, the colors in them, and all of these bugs and little critters. 
every single one of the names of the shades are also bug inspired. So we've got web, fire butts, <laughs> which, you know, like fireflies. I just thought fire butts was cuter. Then we also have meadow hawk, spider, spelled with a Y. With this palette, I really wanted to be true to myself. I love tattoos. I love bugs. I love flowers. I love color, but then I also love neutral, natural shades, and I wanted this to be all of that in one. So you have those neutral shades that I love, so you can create really natural looks, but then these beautiful pops of color that you see in my tattoos. Like, I literally took most of the inspiration from this praying mantis and then the jewel bee on my foot. Several different tattoos that all were done by Pat Bennett as well. I'm so elated with how it turned out. It's just, it's neutral and color all in one, and I'm just, oh, I'm just over the moon. In the entire palette, there's only one shade that's already in the Sydney Grace lineup, and that is Scarab, which is Red Chameleon if you are on the Sydney Grace website. But this is like the epitome of a beetle to me, like, like the beetle exoskeleton. It's That's just what it reminds me of. And I wanted that to be in this palette, but all of the other shades are brand new. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all the swatches of the shades and the shade names. And I'm gonna give you my description of them. There's no official description. It's just how I would describe them. The first shade is a metallic white called Web. The next shade, Tree Hopper, is this gorgeous matte. It is kind of a neutral camel tone, I would call it. Then we have Fire Butts, which is a metallic, light, reflective, super reflective green. Walk and Stick is a nice balance between brown and green but still kind of neutral. I love that, and it's a matte shade. Scarab, this one is really intense. If you've ever used Red Chameleon, you know what this is like, and it's a, like a duochrome. It is so beautiful. It has this really gorgeous shift to it. The second row, the first shade we have is Flutter By. <laughs> you guys know I had to have a peachy tone in here. I love neutral tones and a little bit of warmth in there, and peach is where it is at. The next shade is BB. Now, while I love bees, I also love Kelsey Brianna J, my best friend, and BB is something that we call each other. This is an intense metallic gold. Then we have Mantis, one of my favorite shades in here. I can never get a green to be this pigmented and matte. It's like a deepened pastel green is how I would describe it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Then we have Meadow Hawk, which is a beautiful rosy gold. Love Bug, a matte shade. I felt like I wanted to have something purpley, mauvey to kind of deepen things up a little bit if you wanted to go in with the next shade, Jewel B. Ah! Jewel B, I had to have. Again, I just love these lavender, lighter pastel, but not too light of a purple that has a great amount of pigmentation to it. Again, it is a matte shade, and this Jewel B shade is actually in my tattoo that I have on my foot. Next up, we have Marvel, which again is kind of like a rose gold shade, but it is more on the champagne rose gold, whereas Meadowhawk definitely has more of that peachy pink to it. Death Moth is a neutral grayish brownish green. <laughs> All of those mixed into one. If you compare it up against Walk and Stick, you can definitely see more of the green in Walk and Stick. So I love to take Walk and Stick and then take Death Moth to deepen it up. Bugaboo, this is a beautiful matte maroon, and then Spider, this shade is a charcoal brown. I don't think I could have gotten any truer to myself had I tried any harder, <laughs> which I tried really hard on this palette. I probably overthought this immensely. I have been working on this for a while, and I know you guys hear that a lot with releases. This was actually supposed to come out earlier, but then with the virus and everything, it's just, 
it kind of stopped production a little bit, but I'm glad that it made it still into the summer months and you guys will get so much use out of this. Even out of the summer, you guys will be able to use this as a daily wear palette and have those beautiful pops of vibrant but pastel-ish colors. Oh, I'm just so excited about them. And a fun fact, just I just wanna put this out there. I am terrified, absolutely terrified of rejection. I am scared of people telling me no. I'm like, and I just feel like I'm some kind of inconvenience if I am told no. But I love Sydney Grace so much. And I knew that this was the brand that I wanted to collaborate with for an eyeshadow palette. I remember them reaching out to me as Feather River Body. This was so long ago. This was back when I had my first partial knee replacement and playing with these shadows was like, kind of like, what is this? You know, I wasn't used to something so pigmented and so intense and blendable and just amazing. And over the years, I've been able to build this relationship with now Sydney Grace. And I'm so grateful that when I sent that text message saying, I'd really like to work with you guys. I want to make a palette with you that they said yes. Thank you so much for collaborating with me. This is my dream palette. It embodies everything that I could have ever imagined my palette being and they've been so kind to me not just with the palette but just in general. This is a brand that truly has values and and an amazing product. I am going to tear up if I do not stop. I just wanna let you guys know that I'm grateful. I'm appreciative and I'm elated. I have so many feelings, I have goosebumps right now. But anywho, I am rambling because I'm just too excited and I'm getting <laughs> lost in what I even need to say. Like I covered the price, right? And the shades and all this. We need to get into a tutorial. Obviously, I had to do the look that you guys requested the most. I am going to go ahead and jump into this tutorial and know that there are several more to come. I'm starting off with Tree Hopper on a Zoeva 227. Starting in the crease, I'm gonna go back and forth windshield wiper motions. And then I am going to start slowly blending upward to use this shade as my transition shade. BK Beauty 207, I'm gonna take that same shade and run it right along the lower lash line. Refer number one in the shade Walk and Stick. I'm going to pack this on the outer corner and then start taking it into the crease. Blending the shade upward, but not as high as we took the last shade. MAC 221 and Spider. Again, I am going to start by packing this on the outer corner. First, tapping it into place. And then smoking out the outer corner of the eye. Smith 256 and Mantis. I am going to place this right on the center of the lid. Just tapping motions. I love this color so much. Then I'm going to start tapping over 
spider and I'm merging them together. Refer number 21 and the shade Web, placing this on the inner corner, tapping over the edge of Mantis. Same shade, same brush, and I'm highlighting my brow arch. And then lastly, I'm going to take a little bit of walk and stick on a Bristles Beauty EO4RS before going in and adding liner and mascara. I finished off the look with Wayne Goss's liner in Obsidian and just mascara. All right, you guys, that is it. I will have another look for you guys tomorrow and then the next day, August 7th, it will be live on Sydney Grace's website. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and supporting me and my channel. I love you guys so much. <sighs> This just doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel real. Okay, okay. I love you. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.